Hey everyone, today I want to give you a quick tutorial on how to use Zoom's room controls that can be used on any of the Zoom room controller devices. This includes Mac OS, Windows, or any of the Zoom room appliances running Zoom rooms. So the idea here is to set up controls so that way I can turn my Abacore panel on and off, switch inputs, change volume, all from that Zoom room controller device and not necessarily have to go up to the panel to change these things or use the remote. So let's walk through those steps. So the first step is to get our Avacore panel on the network. And you can do that by leveraging the LAN connection on the Avacore panel itself, plug it directly into a switch or whatever you have in there in the room to get it on the network. And then we're gonna open the on-screen display settings through the Avacore remote. And we're gonna go down to network configuration here. We're gonna go to advanced settings, network configuration. And once we're in that menu, we're gonna see this here. All right, and there's just a couple of things we have to change here. One being the baud rate has to be set to 115,200 bits per second. And then whether or not you're using, you're assigning the IP statically, or in my case, I did it via dynamically and it grabbed this IP address. So this is the IP address we'll need to enter into our script, our JSON script, to get the zoom room controller device talking to our panel and, and enable the open up the the avenue to allow these controls to go through to the panel so that's step one get the avacore panel on the network give it an ip address and then we're ready for step two so step two involves uh, opening up the json script and making some small changes now we have this script ready to go for you that will work with our displays. And you could get creative with this, certainly if you have some JSON script editing abilities, right? You use these different codes that you can find in our user guides to enable these different commands like power on, mute, volume up, down, et cetera. Uh, but we have this ready to go for you um, in the case that you just wanna take this template and then make your uh, you know, additional changes. And really the main one you're gonna have to make is whatever IP address that appeared there when you were assigning it um, on your Avacore panel itself. This is the what you need here and make sure that you leave port 23 open. So your IP address colon port 23 uh, to allow this communication to the panel. So once you have this script ready to go and you know, certainly reach out to Avacore support if you'd like a copy of it. Once you have this, we're ready for the next step where we log on to the Zoom portal and make some changes. So now that I've logged into my Zoom room portal and I've found the room that I want to enable controls for, it's a matter of you know being in this area here, right? Under zoom.us and going down to the control system API and scrolling up just a bit to go up to enable room controls. So I have this toggled off right now. And that's that's the first step is to turn this on. And as soon as I do that, you see the edit profile button appear. So as soon as I click this, now I've already pasted this in here previously. So that's why you see this populated. But this is that same script that we were working with before, just a matter of copy pasting it and then clicking the save button. As soon as I do this, I can go over to my controller device and I'll be able to start seeing my room controls. So here's a look at my Zoom room controller device, right? All I gotta do now is tap on the room controls button and as long as I created that script properly and on my panels on the network, this is what I'm gonna see. I'm gonna have the ability to turn the panel on or off, right? Just by tapping these buttons, no need to use the remote or um, you know, the, uh, the panel itself, the buttons on the front of the panel itself to leverage it. So let me just show you this real quick. So I'm over on my Zoom controller device. I tap on room controls. I have my option to turn the panel off. Turn it back on, just takes a sec to come back on. And of course, you know, being able to mute, unmute, turn the PC power on or off, all those options there because I enabled it. So that's what we wanted to show you today. Thanks for watching.